Tiny Tap is an app that allows you to create educational games from everyday moments. Creating a game is simple. Simply add a photo, record your questions, and then trace your answers. The Tiny Tap interface is very simple. You have the option to create a game, you have some text and drawing tools, you have a market, and then you also have a demonstration and a couple of games on the second shelf listed. The first thing we're going to look at is one of the games so that you can get an idea of how you can use TinyTap. So let's look at the game Who is Bigger. We're going to tap to open. Who is bigger? Tap to start the game. You notice that it has audio connected with it so your students know what they need to do. So we're going to tap to start the game. So we're going to decide which one is bigger. I'm going to tap the mouse. That's right. The mouse is bigger than the little ant. What about the mouse and the chicken? Who is bigger now? I'm going to go ahead and tap the wrong answer just so that you can see what happens. I'm not so sure about that. The chicken looks pretty big. Now I can try again. Correct. The chicken is bigger than the mouse. Wow, a chicken and a cat. Which one is bigger? I'm going to go ahead and select the right answer. That's easy. The cat is bigger than the chicken. All right, I think you get the idea, so I'm going to go ahead and exit. All right. So that's kind of a basic idea of how the app works. Now you can create games similar to that very easily. The first thing that I'm going to do is click on create a game. When I click create game, a new window opens up and you see I have some things that I need to fill in here, such as the game's name. So I'm going to go ahead and name this United States Quiz. and hit done. Once I've named the game I simply tap on the plus that says add photo and you see I have the option here to add an image from the camera where it will turn on the camera and I can take a photo I can access the pictures that are already in my photo album I can search the web or I can draw a picture I'm gonna go ahead and search the web and I'm going to find a picture of the United States and tap search. You'll see once I tap search I get a lot of options here and I can select the picture that I want to use. I actually want one that is blank so I can have a little quiz so I'm going to use this picture here tap on it. I can zoom and crop this picture but it's fine where it is so I'm going to tap done and then you'll see it throws the picture right in there. Now I have the option to add another photo or to add a question to this picture that I just added. So I'm going to tap on the photo again where it says add question and now I can record my question. Where is California? Tap stop. Okay. Once I've recorded my question I can hit the play button to listen back. Where is California? If I'm happy with that recording, I can now trace my answer in my photo. So I'm going to tap on Trace Answer Area in Photo. It'll give me a quick little demo of how I'm supposed to do that. Of course, that's not California. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to trace using my finger all around California. If I'm happy with that, I can hit Done Tracing or I can click Cancel and Trace again. I'm actually going to trace again because I missed a little section of it. Okay, done tracing. Okay, now if I want to add a correct message or an incorrect message, when I have the question listed here, I can tap on the pencil next to that question. And you'll see now I have the option to either re-record a question, record an answer, or record a mistake. So if I want to record an answer, a correct answer, I can tap right here. Great job, that's California. Okay, or if I want to record a mistake, 
try again. I can do that. If I want to name my question, I can tap here and I can type in California. Or you can just leave that question one. It's up to you. When I'm finished, I click done. Okay. When I'm done here, I can click done in this left hand corner. And now I'm back to that initial create game page where I can add another photo with more questions. So let's add another photo. We'll do the web again. United States. Search. I'll find my same picture. Done. Okay, tap on it again to add the question. All right, I can go ahead and record my question. Where is Louisiana? Let me trace my answer again by tapping on trace answer area and photo. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trace where Louisiana is. And I'm going to click done tracing. Again, if I want to record a correct or an incorrect response, I can do that as well. Again, by tapping the pencil and recording those here. I'm going to click done. I'm going to click done again. And let's say that I've added all the questions that I want. When I've added all the questions here that I want, I can click done in the top left hand corner or I can tap up here where it says music. If I want to choose some background music that I want to include while they're taking this quiz, I can. I can just simply tap on one and when you see the cassette next to it, that's the music you select. If you want to preview any of the music, you can tap on the play sign. If you do not want any music, you can scroll down and select no music and then tap done. All right, once I'm completely finished, I tap done in the top left and then it brings me back to my first page and I can click on my United States quiz. It reads the question out loud to me. I can tap where I think California is and then it will give me that correct response feedback. Again, I can tap where Louisiana is and I get a correct little giggle. And I can click exit when I'm done. Okay, it's very, very simple to create a game here. Uh, it looks like a very elementary interface, but you see that you can actually cre create higher level content just depending upon the pictures that you use. Another new feature in the updated version of TinyTap is this marketplace where you can go in and purchase or download additional games that other people have made. You'll notice there are a few that are free and there are a few that are $0.99, cents, $1.99. So if you're interested in looking at other people's content, you can go to the marketplace. I'm going to click back to get to that first page. The last thing we're going to look at is where my little mug is with the text tool and the pencil and highlighter and chalk. I'm going to tap there. You'll see here it looks just like it's a blank page with the done and share button but if you look at the very bottom there's a little semicircle with a pencil kind of poking out. If I tap on that I can draw a picture if I'd like so I can take the brush and I can pick a color and I can draw a sun if I wanted to draw a picture of something outside, I can add text. If I want to edit that text, I tap on the text, hit the delete button. I can type in a question if I would like. Or if I wanted to type in a sentence and have them tap on the noun or the verb or the adjective, I could do that as well. I can also erase whatever I've drawn by using the eraser or I can use the other chalk or highlighter things like that. When I'm finished I can click done. It'll save that to my camera roll. I can say done again 
and it actually automatically throws that into a question for me and then I can do just like I did when I added a picture tap on add questions, add my questions, add my correct or incorrect feedback and add as many additional questions as I would like. Very simple interface excellent to use in elementary all the way down to pre-k um, and really depending on the content that you include whatever grade level you'd like.